Hello, hello, hello. I am very, very excited about this one. I uh, told you guys that I would come back with the uh, spiritual armor and we were going to talk about each one of them piece by piece, but we would take the first three. And some who, un who may not understand what's going on, we need spiritual armor because we are fighting a spiritual war that's invisible. You can't see it just like you can't see your spirit, but it's there and it's a war against it. So let's get a little bit more clarity on it as we read. Um, hopefully you'll get more understanding. Ephesians 6, 10 through 18, it says, Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the evil schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil approaches, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything to stand stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist with the breastplate of righteousness in place and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace in addition to this take up the shield of faith with wherewith you can exalt uh, extinguish, I'm sorry, extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, and pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for other people as well. So, this is what we do. This is what we use. See, Jesus already war, won the war, but we are in this world and we have to put on spiritual armor in order to keep those fiery darts from attacking us. And usually it, it starts with the mind. You know, the enemy, he really wants to target that mind. Okay. So first of all, let's start with the belt of truth. Okay. God is the source of truth. All truth, all uh, scientific truth, the mathematical truth, the historical truth, relational truth, all truth is of God. God knows all truth. Okay? And there's always, I always call the enemy, he's like a perpetrator. He tries to perpetrate everything that God has done. You know? So that's why we have to know the truth. Okay? The Bible tells us that the truth will make us free. Okay. The belt. See, Let's let's talk about the armor and how it was used, how the soldiers use it. A soldier is only ready for battle when he is girded with his belt. You know, because the belt holds up everything, right? If you put on a pair of pants, you're going to have to have a belt to hold everything up. So, a Roman soldier's belt was made of metal and thick, heavy leather and was the carrying place for his sword. Take, for instance, a gun holster. You know, the uh, cowboy, he would put his gun in his holster. Okay, so look at it that way as well. It also had a protective piece that hung down in the front. Again, like the holster. His belt held all other pieces of his armor together to be fitted with his belt. And when he was fitted and everything he was ready okay he made sure everything was in place okay the truth is the belt that holds us as believers it holds everything together ultimate truth can be found in god in his word and in the person of jesus and you can find that yourself if you take down notes here that would be great john 14 6 okay and we must know this truth in order to protect ourselves against our own flesh and the world and 
the father of lies you know the flesh the devil and the and the father you know the flesh the world and the father of lies you know and there's a lot of lies going on out there so that's why we have to really be discerned on what's going on truth is the ground the the ground for us to remain in you know what god wants us to remain in that truth he wants us to know the truth um and uh, again, there are so many falsehoods out there, you know, and that's the enemy's weapon. You know, when you if he can get you off course by lying to you and telling you there's another way to the Lord, you know, you can be good, do good and you'll get there. You know, a lot of people will just go ahead and act you know, just do just do whatever they want to do and every now and then they might give you know so i you know i gave because i i love people and i know when i give that they're not saying it outwardly but they think if they do good and be good that they can make their way into heaven and carry along all these things in our heart you know, all the just do whatever you want to do, but every now and then give to charity or do whatever, you know, give to someone that's showing love, you know. Uh, but that's not the way. You know, the Bible tells us the way to the Father is through his son, Jesus Christ. It, until we come to that knowledge, that understanding that our goodness is like filthy rags before God, then we will continue to believe those lies where you, if you do good and do that and do this, you know, you can, you can get to, to, you know, you can get to heaven. But that's not true. And you think that God hears because you're a good person. No, that's not, you know, God said all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. You know, in that case, then Jesus wouldn't have had to die, you know. But anyway, I'm moving along. It says, how can we use this belt of truth? Okay. Well, we can start off each day, you know, by um, applying uh, prayer. First of all, pray and ask the Holy Spirit to lead you and guide you. You know, he's always there. Just ask him to you know, open the door for him to do that. And he'll do that. You know, and you know, um, it's you know, many a times I have got up out of bed, you know, <laughs> really quick and forgot to pray. You know, I, I, you know, I always ask God, I thank God for that day, but you know, usually once I do that, I try to put everything aside for a few minutes so I can, you know, talk to my father, you know, and there's been times when I've been uh, bum rushed, so to speak, the phone may have. Uh, a, a ranged or you know somebody on the opposite end was very angry or something you know <laughs> happened and it take me off guard you know and I wasn't able to put that piece on you know the prayer and to talk to God to to uh, arm myself okay and when we just you know we have to make sure don't answer the phone don't do anything until we talk to the father <laughs> it's like a part of you know, it's the point of waking up, you know, it, it becomes so natural, you know, and sometimes even in my sleep, I'm praying uh, in my sleep and I wake up and I'm thanking God, you know, and he knows, he knows that we need all these things because we live in a fallen world and uh, just take, you know, at least 10 minutes to do that. I would do that in the shower. You know, I pray uh, when I got out before, you know, when I got out of the shower, I would pray, you know, and just, you know, just, just a few minutes you just talk to your father, you know, and yeah. So, and then even at the end of the day, you know, and you know, I, I watch TV. I, you know, you have to work. You got, you know, a lot of you have families, you have husbands, you have children, and you know, you don't have that much time, but try to take a few minutes at night to thank God for the day, you know. But anyway, um, and memorize some scriptures. Try to memorize the scriptures because that's very, very important. Because if we remember, um, that's what the Lord Jesus, uh, uh, you know, Jesus Christ, when he was tempted out in the wilderness, he always threw the word on Satan. You know, he said it is written. So it's good to rememberize those things, you know, rememberize uh, scriptures. OK, for example, OK, um, 
I always said, God, you did not give me a spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. When you come into a situation, you might have a little fear going on, and you know, you might have a um, something that's a new e event that you are supposed to lead or whatever, you know, you might have a little fear, oh Lord, I don't know if I can do that. Then you say, Lord, I can do all things through you who gives me the strength, okay? <laughs> and you might be worried about bills or your children or all that, but you have to give it to God. Say, Lord, I am not, I stand on your word. I am not going to be anxious. I'm not going to be worried. But I, in all things, I'm going to pray and make my request known unto you. And I know that you're going to give me peace through this situation. And he will. Just rememberize some of these scriptures. You know, it's very good. And again, like I said, all truths come from God, you know. And uh, okay, let's go to number two, which is the breastplate. The breastplate of righteousness. Okay, pursuing what is right and true, not lying to to make things easier. You know, a lot of times we, you know, we'll try to lie about it and 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 pretend that this is the way, and then you'll argue with yourself. You try to reason with yourself. Oh, I did right. You know, you lied. You know, and it's not going to. It might uh, appease that person that you're talking about, but what about the Lord? He heard that lie too. You know, he, he's saying, well, can't you trust me? Won't you trust me? A lot of times we think that if we lie, that a person will buy that quicker than the truth. But no, a lot of times you just tell the tr truth. Okay, I'm just going to be honest. I'm just going to be upfront right now. Okay, I, I didn't want to come into work today. <laughs> I'm, I was tired. <laughs> you know, rather than making up all the excuses, you know, my grandma died and, you know, and. Uh, just a lot of things, you know, dog died, you know, and all these things. So it's better to just tell the truth, you know, face the truth. And, you know, God will always see you through that thing. You know, the truth is better than any kind of lie because you don't want that door open, you know, for the enemy. And then you don't want to to feel crummy later on. You know, oh, I told that big old lie now I'm going to have to. And your focus is all messed up. You know, and the darts are ready to be fired out. The enemy is ready to, to hit you with those darts. So make sure you have on the righteousness and the um, the the breastplate of righteousness, you know. And we have to remember where that came from. Jesus is our righteousness. He's Jehovah Tishkenu. He is our righteousness. Okay, remember what happened on that cross. He took our sins and gave us his righteousness, the great exchange. So we have to remember where that righteousness comes from, okay? Okay. Yes. Um, and his righteousness will never fail. You know, we put on the right thing. God's righteousness will never fail. Living in, in a right life rooted with God's word is a powerful protection of for our heart, you know? And it's it's good to kill that flesh, too. <laughs> and that's what we want. We want to mortify the deeds of the flesh, you know. And that defeats the enemy. Because if he can't operate through that, you know, he don't have a way in. So we must, uh, yeah, we must uh, choose to to tell the truth, you know, to be truthful. And to live the, the word, you know, what does the word say about this situation, okay? Okay. Let's go. We have a lot more to talk about this, but I'm going to I wanted to move on to um how to use the breastplate of uh yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, how to use it. We talked about what it was, okay? The righteousness is the the bless the breastplate of righteousness is um God's righteousness and we must tell the truth, okay? And and uh through that, we live right and rooted in Christ Jesus, you know, to be abiding in him. That's the truth. Okay. And how do we use this? Okay. Um, we, okay. I like to give uh, examples. Um, sometimes, uh, a lot of times, like I said, when you wake up in the morning, there's, you know, you might be bombarded with situations and things like that. We must uh, watch what we listen to and 
and and watch what we hear. You know, don't allow the the internet to feed our soul. Don't allow our the the gossip and and things like that feed your soul. When people are talking to me on the phone, a lot of times they start talking out. They you know they're good, but let's pray or, or they're talking about something you know really wholesome, and then all of a sudden turn the corner. Here I am. Found, I find myself gossiping with them. I said, oh, Lord, Lord, forgive me. And you know, and that takes you to an area where you're judging people, where you're finding fault, and where you know, and that's when the enemy can shoot more darts in you. You know, and then that person will carry off that. You know, the 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 conversation we had. Well, so and so pastor said this, and she said this, and you know, and I've learned how to be quiet. Or move the phone away from me so I can't hear all that. Or say, hey, can we can we talk about this later? Can we can I get back with you? You know, because we we can't let anybody uh, project their heart upon us. We can't let all this stuff in our lives, in our hearts, in our spirits, you know, to corrupt it. You know, so we have to um, protect our hearts. You know. And this uh, breastplate protects our heart. Okay, okay. The okay. When we put that on, okay. Let's talk about. Um, um. Yeah. When we pursue the right thing and not having to lie all the time, it's much much easier. You know, because you know we all know what a lie will do. <laughs> Wow, when you tell one lie, you got to tell another lie, you got to tell another lie, you got to tell another lie, another lie, another lie. And a lot of times you forget the lies that you've told, you know. So just tell the truth. Okay. All right. Let's talk about this. The feet fitted with readiness. Okay. All right. That's the shoes of uh, carrying the peace. And the sh and the gospel when we carry the gospel of truth. I was talking about this, and, and it says even if you have the sharpest sword, <laughs> but have on the wrong footwear, you will be a casualty to war. You could slip and fall and, and kill yourself, or the the enemy will kill you. I was talking to my nephew the other day, and he is telling me that he was engaged into a a, a fight. <laughs> with somebody and he had on the wrong kind of shoes and he slipped and fell and he lost that fight really quick he lost and um it's that's why we have to have on the right shoe okay because a roman soldier his feet was fitted with the sandals okay these certain type of sandals protective gear sandals that's what they um these they used and they they had extremely thick thick sole and they wrapped around the the soldier's ankle in a way that to protect you know protect them from blistering as well okay um and they also and and, and there were spikes on the bottom to help them to stand firm okay as they travel uh this helped them for you know to have a firm foundation you know to stand like a soldier you know ready okay and we believers we must we must stand firm have a firm foundation in the gospel okay as believers we have peace in knowing we are secure in what jesus has done for us you know we just stand firm knowing that um um in matthew i think it's in it's in, he was talking yeah in the book of matthew it, it talks about how we must um, um, stand firm. I don't know the scripture offhand right now, but um, mm. but you know what I I, I like to to uh, think about things that has done has happened to me, um, and God has delivered me like a, a testimony of something that happened where I didn't have on the right shoes and and I go back to that and I think about how I lost it and you know you keep a if you keep a archives of of like testimonies and how God delivered you and the situations that you were in it helps out a lot 
it helps me a lot because I go back and I can recall because you can't remember all the things that you know that's happened since you've been saved or, or all the testimonies and all those things but it's good to, to you know to try to I call it an archive or to, you know to try to write down some of those things and remember how God got you out of different situations and not to get back in that same type of thing okay so it's good to uh, jot those down okay and and, and we're and how do we use how do we use this okay how do we use um the these sandals okay how do we use them and you know we can't wait until something comes up a lot of times we wait until trouble happens and then we try to you know hurry up and put them on so that's why it's so it's so good to put them on before you leave the home <laughs> Somebody said the other day, said, hey, I, I dress, I put my armor on when I'm when I first wake up, you know, and we have to we have to put on that armor. We have to remember, keep these things in our minds and know, OK, and be ready, be ready. OK, don't wait until something happens. Build your foundation on a daily reminder of of the hope of Jesus Christ and what he promises he, he has given us. OK. And again, share your testimony. You know, the other night I was um, at church and I didn't know that, and, you know, we were talking and I, my, but my testimony just rose up and I hadn't planned on sharing that. But thank God I did because it helped people, you know, it helped so many people because I opened my mouth, you know, so open your mouth and, and share what God has done for you. Okay. It helps you. It helps them just to remember that. Okay. I can't stress that enough, you know, uh, but living an example, you know, we have to live an example. And, 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 and the Bible tells us that we might be the only Bible that people read what we do, you know, with our lives, you know, it affects them. And that's why it says that we are the light of the world, you know, and we have to, you know, and the salt, we are the light and we are the salt and uh, the light. It talks about, you know, when we're doing things, if we're walking, if we're the light of the world, the light of the world brightly shines so men can see, men and women can see our good works. Everybody can see our good works. And the Father above will be glorified, you know? Yeah, so we're not put on this earth for nothing. And then we have to, you know, not only be the light, but we have to have the fruit of the spirit, you know, that be like a tree uh, full of fruit so people can eat from that tree, you know. And we know the, the fruit of the spirit, you can dry it down, is found in Galatians um, 5.22. Uh, it talks about all the, the, the fruit, okay. So, yeah, we must have the belt of truth. The breast <laughs> breastplate. I don't know why my tongue get tied on that. The breastplate of righteousness and the shoes of for the gospel. That means the feet must be ready to share the gospel, the good news with people. Okay, and the truth. It must be the truth that you <laughs> that you share. You know, you, if you share in any other gospel, then the 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 arrows are gonna hit you. <laughs> Remember the 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 seven was the um. The sons of Stephen, Steva, the seven sons of Steva, they uh they went out to share the gospel. <laughs> they went out to witness, right? But they they didn't really know the Lord. They went out probably with, with like what I talked about earlier, a good person. They went out because oh I love the Lord, but they didn't accept Jesus Christ in their heart. And the demons told them, Paul I know, Jesus I know, but who are you? And he, and he sent them running down the street, you know. The devil turned around and chased them. And see, that's what I'm saying. You have to know that you know. And Second Timothy talks about it. To study, to show ourselves approved, you know. Rightly di dividing the word of God, you know. Not being ashamed. Not getting out there ashamed and not knowing what you're talking about. You know, put this word in your spirit. Tattoo this word on your heart so you'll be ready to give an answer, okay. But anyway, you know, those are the three. We're going to come back um, 
with the other three. Well, it's actually it's four. Okay. We're going to talk about that next time. But I hope you got some nuggets today. Okay. I love you and you know God love you. Until next time.